there is something that has revolutionized our world. A technology that promises to create a new way to encrypt information and process data. Quantum physics has already changed our lives, because everything we use today is an example of quantum physics in action. Now, the world is on the edge of a second quantum revolution, which is quantum computing. Quantum computing could change the world. It could transform medicine, revolutionize communications, break encryptions, and reform artificial intelligence. Companies like Microsoft, IBM, and Google are racing to build reliable quantum computers. Even China has invested billions into it. Recently, Google revealed that it had achieved quantum supremacy. And this is the first time a quantum computer has outperformed a traditional one. But what exactly is quantum computing? And how does it work? How will it change our world forever? Let's look into it. Quantum computers are not faster computers. They are just different kinds of devices. An ordinary computer can process a limited amount of data in a specific time frame. But quantum computers have unlimited capabilities. A classical computer chip uses bits like tiny switches and only works with two possibilities, either in the off position, represented by the zero, or the on position, represented by a one. Every app that you use, the website you visit, the video you download, and every photograph you take are ultimately made up of millions of these bits in some combination of ones and zeros. This works great for most things, but it doesn't reflect the way the universe works. In nature, things aren't just on or off, there are many uncertainties, and our best supercomputers aren't very good at dealing with uncertainty. And that is a problem. This is where quantum computers come in. Quantum computers, however, don't get to choose between one or zero. It can be any of them simultaneously, as it holds a lot of uncertainty. This allows quantum computing to be versatile. Scientists and researchers believe that quantum computers can better simulate our world than classic computers, because nature itself is uncertain. Quantum computers can make complicated calculations quickly compared to classic or supercomputers, because instead of bits, quantum computers use qubits. Classical computers manipulate bits with blistering speed, while quantum computers manipulate qubits with exquisite control, allowing for the interface of information, like waves on a pond, to amplify the answers we seek in a pool of possibilities. Qubit allows for uncertainty, and that is one thing that makes quantum computers so powerful and different. If you ask a typical computer to figure its way out of a maze, it will try every single branch in turn, ruling them out all individually until it finds the right one. But a quantum computer can go down every path of the maze at once. It can hold uncertainty in its head. Another thing that qubits can do is entanglement. Naturally, if you toss two coins, the result of one coin toss does not affect the other. They are independent, and the result will be different. But with entanglement, two particles are linked together even if they're separate entities. If one comes up with a head, the other one will also come up with a head. It sounds like it's not realistic or sci-fi. Even physicists don't fully understand how or why it works that way. In the world of quantum computing, it simply means that you can carry information around, even if it contains uncertainty. You can take the particles and use them to perform complex calculations. It also means that you can string multiple qubits together. You can tackle problems that would take our best computers millions of years to solve. This can help humanity solve multiple problems that can give rise to new technologies that we couldn't even dream of. One exciting thing about quantum computers is that it isn't just about doing things faster or more efficiently. They'll let us do things that we couldn't even have dreamed of doing without them. Things that even the best supercomputers isn't capable of doing. So what are the things that quantum computers can do that will change our world forever? Quantum computers have the potential to accelerate the development of artificial intelligence rapidly. Companies such as Google are already using them to improve software of self-driving cars. Google recently shared its advantages in quantum computing, and last year they revealed something that could be the first big step towards a functional quantum computer. It has recently created a quantum computer that can make a three-minute calculation that would have taken 10,000 years for a regular computer to achieve. This shows that quantum computers have a fast data processing power. Quantum computing can affect our daily life because scientists can use it for drug development. Its fast computing ability can help pharmaceutical industries get cures for several diseases faster, even for diseases that are presently incurable. The process of designing, simulating, and analyzing molecules is one of the biggest challenges in the drug industry because supercomputers can only analyze the most basic molecules, and it also takes a lot of time. 
quantum computers operate using the same quantum physics properties as the molecules they're trying to simulate. They should have no problem handling even the most complicated reactions. Using quantum computers to simulate quantum chemistry could be far more efficient than using the fastest classical supercomputers today. That could mean more efficient products, from new materials for batteries and electric cars, to better and cheaper drugs and vastly improved solar panels. Scientists hope that quantum simulations could even find a cure for Alzheimer's. That will be a breakthrough in the world of science and research. Quantum computers will also find use anywhere there's an immense, uncertain, complicated system that needs to be simulated. They are ideally suited for solving complex optimization tasks and performing fast searches of unsorted data. So, climate prediction and the stock market could benefit from this technology. A quantum computer with its fast analyzing power could help calculate and analyze every possibility in the stock market, revealing an accurate result in a short time frame, and help companies make better business decisions. The speed of quantum computing could be beneficial in data science as well. It could help in data encryption. Currently, most encryption systems rely on the difficulty of breaking down large numbers into prime numbers. For supercomputers, this is called factory, and it is slow, expensive, and impractical. But quantum computers can do it quickly. Top cybersecurity companies and banks are organizations that could benefit from this. The reason for this is because these organizations could use quantum uncertainty to create unhackable private keys. Although mathematical encryption techniques are vulnerable to being hacked by powerful enough computers, hacking quantum encryption would require violating the laws of physics. This technology relies on the uncertainty principle, the idea that you can't measure something without influencing the result. And this is one of the properties of quantum computers. Quantum encryption keys cannot be copied or hacked. They would be completely unbreakable. Because of this, people would be able to encrypt and decrypt messages from one location to another without being hacked. This kind of unbreakable encryption is something that will change our world forever. To decrypt messages, hackers would have to break the quantum physics rules, which is nearly impossible due to the uncertainty and the nature of quantum. Companies, organizations, or individuals can also use quantum computing to transfer data. With today's data transfer technology, messages could be interrupted by hackers. But quantum technology offers a unique type of transfer technology that no one can intercept. This data transfer technology is due to the entanglement ability of qubits. In entanglement, two particles are linked together, even if they're physically separate, which means if you change one, the other will correspondingly change. So with quantum-powered internet, a user can share a pair of particles to send a quantum message. The connection is so secure that the message can't be copied or traced, or traced from it. Quantum computing power can even destroy the message before anyone has access to it when it's intercepted. Compared to bits, qubits are incredibly fragile. They need to be kept away from disturbances. The slightest disturbance from the outside world, space, is enough to destroy quantum information. That's why most current machines need to be carefully shielded in isolated environments, operating at temperatures far colder than outer space. The quantum race is already underway. Governments and private investors all around the world are investing billions of dollars into quantum research and development. Satellite-based quantum key distribution for encryption has been demonstrated, laying down groundwork for a potential quantum security-based global communication network. Given the current state of this field, it's not clear when the full power of quantum computing will be accessible. But whenever it is accessible, quantum-powered internet won't replace the current internet. It'll be used with different devices. That's it guys, what do you think about quantum computers? What do you think about the future of technology in the years to come? Let's hear your views or opinions via the comment section below. We'll be glad to hear from you. And please, do not subscribe unless you are into technology, because that is what this channel is all about. Now, let's watch another fantastic video from our channel. I'll meet you there.